Hello, my name is Emma Abaga, short black boy, African rapper number one, and I'm about to take you guys on a journey with me. I'm excited to share this project with you. Uh, it's something that I'm so proud to have been part of. As part of CBN, Chalkboy Nation, uh, our mantra is control the economy. And the reason we came up with that, that phrase and that statement is because as young people, we have to be intentional about taking charge of our own lives and our own future. Chocolate City was part with a great organization called Osiwa and they gave us a grant to go on the road and to play music to bring young people together for a purpose and what that purpose is is to get young people involved in the election. And so the project began with me and I had never collected my PVC, you're going to see me go get my PVC and then we recorded that project, we put it out, the process, we put it out for everyone to see. As soon as I got my PVC, I was ready to vote. And we went around the country and we asked young people from all over the country, hey, get your PVC, come out and let's vote together. Look, thousands of people in Jos, in Abuja, in Abiokuta, in Ibadan came out, they got their PVCs and it was great. Apart from that, we had town hall meetings where we sat down with young people and we discussed about the future of Nigeria. We discussed about the problems plaguing young people. We had mock elections. The mock elections were dope. I swear to you guys, man. People became uh, political parties and they were fighting for election and we had INEC and you, you guys are gonna see all this. It truly was a dope project. It was. My name is Yemi Adamoleko. I'm the executive director of Enough is Enough Nigeria. So, the Control the Future tour um, was also an opportunity for MI who wanted to get close to his fans and basically be able to engage with them, not just from the stage. With um, 5,000 people in a venue, MI and the artist and his friends get an opportunity to engage young people around civic responsibility, why it's important to register to vote, how government en um, engagement works, how it's connected to their quality of life, standard of living, at the same time, have an awesome evening of great music, great fun, hanging out with friends and listening to their favorite artists. So that was the objective of the project. My name is Tamuna Saki Romeo. I am legal and admin for Chocolate City Music. And I'm also the project manager for CBN Tour 2019. The purpose of this project was primarily to meet um, the youth in Nigeria, in schools and in so many locations for sensitization of voting. So um, the reason we decided to do this was because of the upcoming elections and we figured it would be a fantastic idea to reach the youth with, through our music and um, we got the help of uh, people like National Orientation Agency to come on the tour with us and we had a great time speaking to youths about the importance of voting, how to vote, voided votes and it was a very great process and I think we achieved our aim. Hello everyone, my name is Iso Sao Kundai. I'm the peer executive at Chocolate City Music. We had set goals, we had to interact with the audience, we had to get them to understand why we were doing the tour and um, get their feedback about if they understood that, which was very clear. One of the most important things about this process for us was um, about young people that are in the music industry and influencers being um, leaders in civic engagement. And for us, uh, I think the Osiwa Chocolate City partnership is a historic one because it's never been done where uh, these two parts of society have come together on a project. And I think looking forward, the rest of the music industry and for all my friends who are popular artists can start thinking about, hey, how can I play a role in getting things done? I hope that this has huge impact on the industry. I hope to see uh, David O, Wizkid, Runtown, Techno, Fino, Olamide, everyone, Ice Prince, Jesse Jacks, everyone. I hope to see them uh, embark on projects like this where it's all about giving back. And uh, I hope that that's the lasting legacy of what um, the Osiwa CBN Tour project uh, accomplishes for the industry. We made the decision to leverage on Chalk City's um, experience as a label and uh, artist managers. We thought they'd be able to um, provide an experience that young people would appreciate. So, the Control the Future tour. It was a humbling project for me to be a part of because I got to listen, I got to meet young people, and I'm grateful for that experience. Um, as you watch the documentary, the one thing I want you to know is that the journey isn't over. We as young people, as young Nigerians, we have a lot of work to do. 
The journey ahead of us is still very long, but this is a great beginning. The CBN tour is not going to stop. Year after year, we're gonna come meet with you on the road. We're gonna sing songs together, but it's not just about singing songs. It's about listening to you. It's about hearing your issues. It's about sharing the common vision that we have for One Nigeria. So enjoy the documentary as you go into it. Check out for me. I hope I look fly throughout the documentary. And uh, you guys are welcome. Turn that thing around the story, does it?